Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video I will continue my discussion about the triggers. In the last video I have talked about the selecting field trigger where I showed multiple ways by which you can select the values in a field by implying the triggers uh, into the sheet and get the desired business behavior. Uh, in this video I will continue my discussion about the triggers. We'll discuss few more triggers in detail. They are fairly basic but important to know so that whenever the situation arises, you are aware about how to utilize it. So without spending much time on uh, talking, let's go ahead and uh, put some item into action. So we'll right click here, uh, go to sheet properties and in this trigger tab, we will click on add action, click on add. So in the selection type, the first that we discussed earlier was the selecting field. Today, uh, let's go ahead and select, uh, deal with select excluded, possible, toggle select, forward and back. I think it should be sufficient for one video understanding. And uh, let's select the uh, select excluded and click OK. Here we need to specify the field on which we want to specify this trigger. So let's say we want to do it on country for simplicity perspective and click OK. And I'll just say go ahead and do OK. So right now, because nothing is being selected, so that's why nothing is being excluded from the selection. So if I go to sheet one and come back to main, nothing will happen. But if I say select US and then go back to sheet one and activate the sheet main, then you will see the India and UK selected because they were excluded when I earlier selected the US, right? So that's the behavior of your select excluded, simple, basic, but important to know. But, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, see other types of actions. So to remove this, we will click on delete, click on add a cane, select possible, that means select all the possible values related to the selection you have made or uh, you know all the values which is possible uh, to select in the current sheet into the list boxes so click ok and click on the this field in which field you want to imply it say we want to do it on fiscal year and let's surround it by this brackets Okay, apply and okay. So what will happen is India and you get selected and the possible values which can be selected on this sheet activate sheet event is these fiscal year values because these are the white values and ready for the selection. So if I go back to sheet one and come back to main, you can see that all these possible values have been selected by default as soon as you have activated this sheet because that's where we have put the trigger so let's go back and do and uh, see other type of trigger so let's remove this by clicking on delete click on add again toggle select as the name implies it, it will keep shifting the selection based on what we have selected earlier to know what I mean by this let's click OK and specify the value so the value is, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the field is basically, let's say it is country and search so string for simply city perspective that central India, right? But you are aware from my past video, what else and what good things you can do with this search string, right? Click OK for now and click OK. I will just clear this for now go back to sheet one and come back here India is selected now if I go back again on sheet one and come back to main India is not selected so it's like toggling you know uh, between the what value we have specified sheet one again go back to main it has selected the India again so once you are activating then it is deselecting and again when you are coming back it is selecting a value we have specified over there all right so i think it should be clear for now and let's go back to sheet properties uh 
remove this and see what do we have next forward and back both are very simple as you can you must have already used it here back forward button these are basically uh, enabled when you have selected anything uh, and work through uh, some selection and then you want to go back or when to go forward then you select these buttons and that's what the behavior here in these action types are in this action also so if i select click uh, forward and click ok click ok uh, i think i need to specify it all right just this click ok and ok so currently as you can see for there is nothing to forward and the button is also disabled so i think there will be no action if we activate this sheet but if i click on back right now you can see the forward button is enabled so this this is all i'm showing so that your understanding is clear about when the forward will work and when the forward will not work so that you are not surprised when you are actually using this right so if i go back to sheet one and come back to main then the india should be selected right because that's what the forward event currently there in the click view memory on which it should do the selection so that's why it has selected the india right so that's what forward does and same is the case with back so if i go back to edit action and delete this click on add and at the back action click on okay 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 so as you can see the back is enabled so if i go back to sheet one and come back here then it is removed again you can see the back is enabled so there are some more event or selection which is there in the memory so if i go back to sheet one and again activate the main sheet the value is present the value got selected based on what click view has already recorded based on the selection you have done earlier so these these are all the different types of action i wanted to cover in this uh, small video and i believe uh, it has given you an information about uh, what are all the things which you can do with select excluded select possible toggle select forward and back so these were very simple action type but uh, it is important to know that they are present and how to use them and this is all i have for now i will meet you in the next video with a new topic till then bye bye